Hello my Leos and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie where of course I am Debbie. So I'm reading for August 18th through the 24th, Thursday, no Friday through Thursday. I have um, done an overview. It's time to trust. I'm not talking about trusting what is in the physical. I am talking about trusting what is in the metaphysical, what is in that supernatural, whatever that good sense, that good energy is to you. Now, I have done that overview. It's time to trust. I also remind you that these are general readings, may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest. Okay? Okay. So, my Leos, you do have things going on still. Um, you know, you are doing some squaring, and or Venus is doing some squaring that's in your sign. Venus is there overly long, or, or longer than normal, let's put it that way. But at the same time, we have some things going on with this, uh, the Lion's Gate. Now, you know, traditionally, if we go with the Gregorian calendar, they do the 8-8. 8-8s are very, you know, portal friendly. But there's also what's going on up in the sky. So some people will even tell you that the Lion's Gate energies, the Lion's Gate stuff is actually occurring right now. So who knows? So Leo, very, very important um, for you to keep your vibrations very high. Uh, get ready, 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 Freddy. And also don't let your mind take you down dark roads, okay? Okay. So let's see, or your spirits, your spirits or your mind. Don't let you, don't be that nine of swords. So let's see what we've got going on here. Higher power, Holy Spirit. What do you want to say to our Leos? What do you want to say to our Leos? Here we go. One. Everything is reversed. So this has some strong energy. Let's see what we've got going. First card is. Ego, do not be afraid. Do not let fear keep you from moving forward. Do not let, you know, fear be the thing that um, try that keeps you from trying or believing or having faith. Yes, yeah, sometimes it's so easy to be trapped in fear, and that's what ego does. Now, ego is also do not kind of. This is one of the things where it says, don't don't believe your own PR or don't believe your own, um, you know, public relations or press release. Sometimes we can think of ourselves as bigger than what we are, so we have to remember to have a little bit of humility, be a little bit humbled. But at the same time, you want to be honest. You do not want to, you know, you don't want to um, hide your light, okay? And that's one of the things, you know, and there is such a thing as false modesty. You don't want to hide your light. You do not want to hide your gifts. You want to experience your gifts. You want to transcend and let those, you know, gifts grow and be bigger and so we've got two things going on here and it's a fine line it's a fine balance one is don't be afraid to show your gifts don't be afraid to live live your giftings at the same time remember to stay humble remember that um you know the gifts are from god the gifts are our blessings are su from supernatural energies so ego does bring some change 15 in itself is 555 change 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 um, Archangel Jophiel is very creative energy, so there is that, you know, keep, you know, keep believing that there is more, keep believing that you have the ability to create more, but again, it's a, it's walking a very, very fine line between believing your own press and, you know, not being afraid to, um, you know, to express your gifts, not being afraid to, you know, to do what you were meant to do, okay, so, ego, this is also the devil card, you know, in, in the weight rider. So here we have, let's see if I can get this a little bit more focused. I hate this when my focus goes off like this. And, oh, my autofocus was off. Here we go. A false sense of entrapment, being overly focused on material things, negative or fear-based thoughts. So there is a lot of faith that needs to be done with this. Now, the thing about it is the overview did talk about some, like, new money coming, but at the same time some worries about money coming. So don't focus so much on the, on the money aspect. Have faith, believe, again, to work your blessings, um, you know, basically get out there and, you know, and, you know, you're, you are given gifts. Don't hide your light, okay? Next card is... King of Fire. Well, this is basically that don't light, don't hide your light. Okay, this is basically 
going after what it is that you want, going, you know, believing that there is more for you. This is a very large energy. It's a very masculine energy at the same time. The king of fire, king's underlying energy. Court cards have two energies. The underlying one for king is, is our um, sword energy, our air energy, you know, Aquarius, uh, Gemini, and Libra. Thought processes, thinking things through. But fire is your energy, my Leos. It is bigger than life. It is going after what you want. But it's seeing the big picture. It's, it's seeing what's going on in the past, what's going on in the present, and going on in that future. So it's kind of like... Everything comes together, and it's also a time of, lot of, of clarity. So, you know, we've got this thing about, um, you know, walking the line, walking the line between, you, you know, between using your gifts and, you know, being and some false humility and yet not being afraid. But then we have this sense of breaking more and, you know, getting out. And just basically it's time for you to, you know, to just burn with that, um, you know, with your, uh, you know, with your motivation, just to, if this is a, you know, just burn and get things out, you know, get things out that need to get out. It's very large. It, it's, you know, don't be afraid to be more than what you think you are. How's that? So king of fire, motivational, idealistic, ambitious, and charismatic. Here we go. Focus, focus, focus. Communicate with vision and be a leader. Advice from someone creative. Now, that's interesting that we would have Joe Field there, who is also very creative. Okay, next card is, again reversed, the Knight of Earth. So, Knight's underlying energy is fire. We know what that is. Earth energy is our Taurus, our Capricorn, and our Virgo. All of these are very strong. We are going, it, it, with this reading, that 23rd, right, we are going into Virgo energy. So this is going to be the end of your season, but it's the beginning of Virgo. There is a lot of Virgo overlap with your season right now. So this is basically, you know, you know, money, job, career. So it, again, don't, you know, don't be afraid. Um, use your gifts. Um, remember that your gifts are from that supernatural, that metaphysical. So, you know, we want to own them. We want to use them, but we don't necessarily, you know, there have been times when, you, when we just need to say thank you a little bit. See the big picture, there is more to come, and then the night of earth is get to work. Make your plan, okay? I love the night of earth because, again, masculine energy, the night basically, um, you know, the night of earth basically looks at the situation and he figures out what his steps are. And then he takes that first step. Now, he may not know the fifth or sixth step, but he knows his first couple of steps. And once he goes down that, uh, that road, he is now on that road. He's very steady, and he follows his plans very steady to, you know, with this. So this week is a very big shift. Again, ego is the card. Ego is the energy to, name, I don't know, contain, be aware of. Ego is the energy to be aware of. You know, because this can really make you go into the spotlight. This could bring you into the limelight. And, you know, this is always a good time to just say thank you and not, you know, say it, it, it's a very, like I said, walking a fine line with ego. But the Knight of Earth says, you know, you, you know, you're seeing the big picture. You are doing what you need to do. There's a really good chance of very, you know, whatever, maybe your craft, maybe your hobby. There's a really good chance of um, a big breakthrough or a big advancement with this week so knight of earth is loyal dedicated honorable and kind time to buckle down and get things done honor your commitments a guardian angel so now let's go to our john holland cards and see what we have to add to this here we go let's see what we've got and I've been having updates in Windows, so I'm sorry my sound is no longer in stereo. Oh my goodness, it kicks my stereo um, drive or whatever that is. It kicks it right out. So here we go, but we have, but we think we can fix that quickly. Okay, higher power, Holy Spirit, what else would you like to say to our Leos as they come to the end of their birthday season? Here we go. Oh, 
Now again, reverse. So everything was very reversed for you. This is a 21, two choices, decisions um, coming together. One is a new beginning. Two plus one is a three celebration creation. The power of three. This is the universe. This is the world card. So the fool who started at zero, who really didn't know anything about anything at the time, has now come through his journey. And he now has had a completion of his journey. This is a time to celebrate your successes, to, you know, again, these two are very, you know, like I said, there is a walk, walking the line. But this is a time, again, I'm going to say, you know, this could be one of those breakthrough um, times. This is a good job. This is you've completed what you need to complete. You need to rest in this or get ready to start again. And when you start again, we all start as the fool. So there's a lot of things that if you've been working on have been coming to a completion. They've been very exciting things. They're very um, good it's like, you know, it's like, Leo, great job. Oh, my gosh, look at what you've accomplished. We just have to remember to be a little bit on the humble side, but not false modesty. And I know, very, very hard. It's like, yes, shine your light. Let your light shine. Acknowledge, you know, acknowledge your gifts. There's so much for you to acknowledge. And then, you know, it's just, it's, this is a hard card. It's a hard card. Also said, don't be afraid for that next step. Universe. The, you know, everything's open to you now. There is more to come. Okay, so Angels of Abundance. Let's see what we've got here. Got to take these out of the pack. And let's see what we've got for our Leos. What do we have? All right, here we are. Leo, Leo, Leo. Angels of Abundance. What else do we have for our Leos? What do we have for our Leos here? What's going on for our Leos? Here we are. All right. God is your source. God is your source. Kind of goes back to what I was saying about that. All right. Everything you need is supplied by the infinite source of God, and your faith opens the doorway to receive. In God, there is no lack or limitation. Rather, there is plenty of abundance for all to share. Love that. I love that because it is a, it is true. There is a lot of truth to what that is. All right, crystal and energy. Crystal or energy for my Leos, and then we're going to do the angel answer. So get your question ready. I don't ask questions when I'm doing these um, for you guys because I don't want my question to be <laughs> answered and not yours. Remember, the when we do answer, that these are, you know, got a large audience so may, you know this is more for fun may or may not resonate let's see what we've got here now crystal or energy for my leos what do we have for our leos here yeah get ready my leos get ready because um yeah it it things are about to things are about to get real get exciting here we go Blue kyanite. Now, blue kyanite's actually, kyanite in itself is a very interesting energy. It's also a very cleansing energy, too. It can cleanse other things, too. And it comes in different, uh, I think it comes in different uh, colors, too, right? No, 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 that's calcite. Anyway, connecting with animals, telepathic abilities, finding your true path, finding clarity. So, if you have some blue kyanite, carry some with you. It's not a bad thing to do. Okay, let's see. Angel answers. What answer do you have for our Leos? What do we have for our Leos here? So we have a 1521-1251. Interesting numbers. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, okay. Okay. This is reversed. What is the answer? No. What was the question? I don't know. Remember, this is for fun. Don't make any life decisions based upon that, okay? Okay, my Leo. So, interesting times. Uh, you know, Leo is Leo season is leaving with a roar. <sighs> Time to be bold, isn't it? 
Okay, my Leos, remember as always, as always. Oh, remember also to do the like, share, subscribe, and click it on that bell for notifications. You help me. And, I mean, it, it's a little thing that helps so much, so thank you. If you're watching me on Rumble, Rumble me, please. As always, my Leos, always know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.